Yo, what's up guys, it's Maso2010 and today we have Legends of Tomorrow Season 3 Episode 10. Now I'm sorry I haven't been able to react to this for quite some time, and it's because my usual means of reacting to something wasn't available at the time, which is why I haven't been able to react to any of the Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. I mean, I've missed like four episodes now, which is really pissing me off. And I just put a drink on myself, so, you know. I mean, I'm back now, and John Constantine has returned, I love that guy, I love the magic elements of the DC Universe. So yeah, let's do this, shall we? I've seen the Constantine TV series as well, it's really good. Hey, sweetheart. It's me again. Hey, John. I don't think you'd find me after they locked me up in here. His voice, it's, it's so loud. He says I can't fight him. Well, let's prove the nasty get wrong, shall we? <laughs> Come on, let's get you up. I really want him to oh. become part of Legends. But I know he probably can't because he's in another show. It's a really good show, I would recommend it. You cannot save this one, Constantine. You've already failed her. Just as you failed, Astra. Yeah. Thomas, I love you. Tell me. Tell me. Sir, I don't know how you got in here, but I have contacted the authorities and will press charges. Here, coin. I will do nothing of the... I would love to be able to do magic like that. Sarah Lance, what the bloody hell have you gotten yourself into? <laughs> oh, 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 that is cool. That is cool. We'll get to your demon, but how did you even find me? Well, simple, I had attuned a dowsing dagger to your specific energy. I followed it from there. I got time travel, was weird. Oh, well, you are not wrong about that, Lord. Blimey. Ooh, this is one out of a jam jar you got here. Skinny Brit in a trench coat. Same thing. Oh, doubtful, mate. You see, I am an accomplished warlock, an expert of the occult, and a master of exorcism. I'm also a tourist, for those of you taking notes. Leah Nancy totem. That belongs to her granddaughter. Same totem, different fixing. She's from 1942. You're saying about the warlock thing. Accomplished warlock, mate. Well, I am charmed to know another who bears the family name. It's an honor. <laughs> so, uh, what's your story then, Anson? I'm from another Earth, and I'm spoken for. Yeah, ah! his girlfriend's a guy. Anyway, this is too much for me. I don't watch TV. Said you'd soon be slipping into the dark. And I figured, if Emily's demon has you on a first-name basis, you might know something that can help me save you both. I don't need saving. And I am done fighting demons. Do you think this has something to do with the demon we're fighting? <laughs> I was speaking of them metaphorically, but yes, I did recently visit the spirit world. It's a long story, but... No, I don't know what you and your, uh, dissy lot have gotten yourselves into, but I suggest you leave it to the experts. So, nice one for the tip. I've got a girl to save. Oh, not so fast. You said it yourself. This is not just any demon, and we've been fighting it before you even knew its name. And if this girl's connected to Mola, she might be able to help us destroy him. Do you want to tag along for an exorcism? Yep. That's out of the bloody question, love. Well, we gave you its name, so you owe us. Well, I gave you your soul, so you owe me indefinitely. Hmm. All the more reason for me to help you. <laughs> All right, we've landed. Where did they move her? Can't find anyone named Emily in the admissions record. Guys, be careful. You're in an asylum with a demon. It's a twofer of terror. Give her an additional four milligrams of phenopental and prep her for another session. That's her. Oh, there she is. Thank you. I can take it from here. I mean, her from here. I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Dr. Yeah, I'm not doing this. What is this? The 
Triangle of Solomon and some Elder Runes and a Nokian script. It's a trap of my own design. Malice will have no chance of breaking free. Now, I've got to warn you both, things are about to get a little bit wonky in here. Anything with an electrical current, you might want to turn it off. Guys, we're going dark. Good luck. Give it a nudge, love. I order you to come forth. Step into the light. Is when? January 1969. 1969. She sent us back in time. Wait, is that Mona's doctor? Apparently, her taste of jewelry never changed. But yeah, this is all a bit weird. Can we get your team to come pick us up? We can't communicate across time without special equipment. You mean we're stuck here? Was they at NASA in 1969? Well, we wouldn't want to. Mick, have you heard from Sarah or the rest of the team? They're not answering on comms. Well, that explains the peace and quiet. It's fine. She's my granddaughter. Yeah, we'll tell that to you. You two, take it outside. It's week 16 of the division title. You know we're on time ship, right? Hey, Gideon, who won the game? No! I haven't watched a live game of football in three years. I do not want another score. Sarah, it's Ray. Do you copy? Z, would you please tell her talking to Kwasa is a bad idea? No. Thank you. I refuse to accept that my granddaughter is pure evil. Fine. She's 89% evil. Guys, I think Sarah is in trouble. Quiet! Erica, take the new girl. Find Blondie. Fake snart and trench coat. Amaya, the med bay. Pretty, the library. What a bitch stays in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, Mick, you're really showing some management potential. Get out. <laughs> oh, we done really well. From Mr. Mars. What's it mean? It's an ancient runic symbol used by practitioners of the dark arts for temporal manipulation. Oh. Guys, I think Sarah and Co got sucked into the timeline. Gideon and I can do some research to figure out where they're gonna. They can reach you. Only I can. Sarah? Nora? Help me, Sarah. Nora? Is that you? Please. Oh, you gotta help me. He's coming for me. Yeah. What do you think you're doing? Oh. Oh. Legends. We got dropped through time from 2017 and are now trapped in the past. Today is January 16th, 1969. Come quick. Yeah, stay with me. Stay with me. What's happening? It's trickery. Fear and is using your darkest emotions to prime you for possession. I want you to be afraid. I need you to fight him, sir. Feels like the mother of all hangovers, don't it? Yeah. I saw a pickle juice in a gin and tonic. It's all that right now. I thought this was all over. The blood lust, the fight for my soul, all the crap that I've had to endure. Well, there's always more crap to endure. Take it from one who's 
have damned his own soul to hell. Some might say you should forgive yourself. Well, if I could, then perhaps I wouldn't have the need to save the likes of poor Nora. What about you? Have you forgiven yourself for your sins? I don't deserve forgiveness. What is that? It's a little reminder that uh, you're a survivor. Strong enough to keep even the most powerful demons at bay. A laundry room in a mental asylum in 1969 might not be the worst place to be stuck. Oh, we look really this damaged. I certainly hope so. <laughs> hey. oh, Jesus. I didn't know to... Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I didn't see that coming by, I don't mind. I think, he's, I think that's a good pair. Star City. Oh. Chance to go anywhere and she chooses a coffee shop? She just wants to feel normal. Thank you. We really gotta come up with a plan besides taking Mollus to a coffee franchise. Anything's better than that insane asylum? No, 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 no. No, no, you are making a serious mistake. I am not insane, I promise. Because you don't know what you're doing. I've performed thousands of transorbital lobotomies. After we finished, your disease will be cured. Who are you? We're also from the future. And spoiler alert, you don't age well. <laughs> and we need to find another way out of here. Okay, the symbol that Nora drew is a time travel spell, right? So why don't we just cast the same spell and get out of here? She was selling the power of Mollus when she cast that spell. No and I have that kind of juice. I do. You said that Mollus can use me the way that he does Nora. So you summon Mollus into me, I try the ruin, same as her, and we get to go home. And what about when the demon is inside you, eh? You said I was strong enough to hold Mollus off. Yeah, well, I was trying to seduce you. Oh, please, <laughs> I was seducing you. I hope no one was trying to seduce anyone while I was about to be lobotomized. You know, this <laughs> is why I like to work on... Oh, no, 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 not this again, Ray. Please don't sing, please, please don't sing. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Everything's coming my That's way. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys know this is a state, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not my turn. He won't find me. Hey. Nora. Well, look, we, we know you're still in there. Hey, Nora. Listen to us. The girl is empty. Long before you arrived, she was alive. Ara? Mary? You have to find it. No one's possessed. Come on, push back. We're trying, but we need help. Where's the defense? Oh, my. That's what we're asking you for. Oh, tie game, third and goal. Yeah. Thanks. Wow. Have you seen the Maya? She's talking to her granddaughter, sickle. Are you sure you want to do this, love? You want to stay here forever? <laughs> the rush of a slain phoenix will hold malice within his parameter and will uh, hasten his wake-up call by combining extract of hawkweed with the saliva of a damned man. <laughs> Sorry to say, love. You'll have to ingest. Yeah, she can say it. Let's summon this demon on There you go. It's working. What's going on? Why Damn it. Stop. Come on, Sarah. Finish it. Mara? He's possessing you too. I don't like 
what I'm doing out there. I don't want to hurt them. Hurt who? Listen to me. You are not Mollus. You are not a demon. You are Nora Dark. For me, it's not your fault. But now you get to make a choice. You don't have to give in to the darkness. You can fight it. Nora, I know. Because I fight it every day. Can you do that, Nora? Can you help me fight? Yeah. You should really see your face right now. <laughs> to know that you have to believe that too. Hey, I'm gonna find you a home. Somewhere where people understand you. Look no further. Oh, son of a bitch. You guys were in town, so I just had to stop by. Daddy? Hi, honey. They're afraid of what you are. You see, Malice is no demon. He's your savior. Do you remember how he made you feel? The power. One day you'll use that power to bring me back to you. You just have to accept him. Nora, look, I know it's hard, but don't listen to him. Look, you still have a chance. Come to me. Oh, okay, come on. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you I'm fine? Well, somehow you managed to channel a demon of the highest order and you didn't succumb. Sarah's strong. She's the strongest person I know. Hmm. Hey, when Nora was possessed by Malice, he seemed scared of my totem. He said that I was one of the six. And that bastard doesn't fear much. If you're told him, give him the frights. Maybe these trinkets are the keys to stopping him. So much for our anti-magic nanite gun. I only know about five totems. There's my spirit, your air, Kwasa's water, and then there's earth and there's fire. But could there be more? Hey, before you go, I, um... Uh, I just wanted to say thank you. For helping me with Mollus, that is. Oh. Of course, uh, helping you with Malice was uh, good for me, too. If you ever need me to help you with Malice again, just give us a call. I'll be right there. Although, there are lots of people out there with very weird demons. They all need my help. Mm, I understand. Good. And thanks for the shag, too. That was great. <laughs> Oh, Ray, big man. Do What's this about an anti-magic gun? Oh, uh, I was going to put it in storage. <laughs> well, don't. You keep it nearby. You said so yourself, the key to stopping Mollus and totems. I could be. But in the meantime, you may need a more accessible solution for a more familiar target. Except you may not know it, but the demon's power that lives inside of her. If, or more like when she succumbs to it, you're going to need that gun. There you go. As always, this is a non-smoking aircraft. Uh, don't worry, Gideon, sweetheart. I'll see you around, Squire. Okay, it's cool. <laughs> oh, he's leaving. No. And, uh, no. No. I'm proud to know you, and 
No! This is hard. Just a little bit. On that note, Captain Lance, I'm going home to ask Ray to marry me. Ray. My Ray, not your Ray. Wow, that is a bold move. It is. Dean, can you get me a line on Ava, please? Yes, Captain. Would you like some privacy as well? Cheeky thought. Captain Lance, I was just about to call you. Really? I mean, cool. Because uh, I just wanted to compare notes, and I thought that maybe if you'd like to come to the ship... There's no time. I finally got through the Bureau's red tape, and it seems Director Hunter has escaped. What? Well, where is he? We have no idea. Mm. All right, then. I, zombie. Promo. Alright, well look, that seems pretty cool. Okay. I'm not sure what comes next, but I'll be I'll try to find out. It's been much 2010 if I played it or retro the pull the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, and see ya.